Hey folks, how you doing? Dave McRae here. Uh, I do that a lot, don't I? I think at the at, at the beginning of every video, I'm like, hey folks, how you doing? Dave McRae here. I gotta stop doing that because then I'm gonna set this expectation and everybody's going to, you know, expect me to do it. And then the day that I don't do it, like, you know, I don't know, I begin a video like this. Hey man, what's going on? Everybody's gonna be like, what the hell was that? Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't go out of my day. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, <laughs> a little too much caffeine today, folks. Uh, and uh, funny enough, in an ironic sense, I don't drink coffee. Um, but anyway, so what I want to talk about today is hockey. Now, before you lose your shit and go, oh my God, you're such a Canadian boy. No, we're not talking about hockey in a general sense, okay? I mean, who the fuck wants to... You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk... Although I do like hockey, it's my favorite sport. Um, I'm using hockey as the example because I think it's the perfect example of the point I'm trying to make. So what I want to talk about is how funny it is, at least to me, um, how the system is set up, and I'm sure it's like this in other team sports as well, but we're talking about when people compete on an international stage. So whether that's the World Juniors, whether it's the Olympics, whether it's whatever the case is, the Pan Am Games, whatever it is, when you are competing on the world stage against other countries, the system is set up so that you win gold, silver, or bronze. Um, when you return to your respective leagues on the professional level, you're not winning gold, silver, or bronze. There is a specific championship trophy that you go after and there's either one game decides it all or you know round robin of you know the best of seven or the best of five or whatever the case is and whoever wins wins whoever loses loses but on the international stage in team sports specifically hockey and i think it's other team sports as well but it's really noticeable in hockey and maybe it's because i'm canadian and i tune in and i pay more attention maybe that's true comment below let me know if you've noticed this in other sports other team sports other than hockey but we're talking about hockey because it's the perfect example, and I'm going to show you some some um, examples of what I'm talking about. So in hockey, you can win bronze. You can actually win the bronze medal because there is a game that decides who the bronze medal winner is, right? There's a game that whoever wins that game wins bronze, and whoever loses, loses the game. And they go home, and that's it. And there's the gold medal game, right? Whoever wins that, wins the gold medal and whoever loses gets silver why why is it now i know it's been set up like that for years like i understand it it's not that i don't get it and it's been set up like that for years but i just find it interesting and funny because nobody actually ever wins silver and nobody is playing the gold medal game to obtain silver poor silver man you're hurting the silver's feelings the silver medal in hockey and maybe some other team sports has to be the most feared medal in the entire thing because nobody wants silver now everybody is trying to get gold of course no matter what the sport is whether you're on your own whether you're part of a team whatever the case is everybody is vying for that gold medal absolutely but in some sports if it's individual if you get the silver you feel pretty damn good you're like hey i fucking got silver at the fucking olympics holy shit i'm a silver medal winner at the fucking olympics you know what i'm saying not in hockey <laughs> not in hockey man now you've just lost the gold medal game it's tough and it sucks i get it totally understand it because you wanted that gold man you wanted that gold but basically you've just been told you are the second best in the world you are the second best at your sport at this level in the whole fucking world so why are these athletes so miserable when they get the silver medal? Well, it's simple. Nobody is winning the silver medal here, right? In hockey, you can win bronze, you can win gold, but you actually have to lose the game in order to get the silver medal. So there's no sense of accomplishment. There's no sense of succeeding. There's no sense of, wow, look at this. I won a silver medal because for all intents and purposes, you didn't win a silver medal, right? So all that hard work and all that energy and all that time and all that excitement, you're not really feeling the payoff 
because you haven't won anything to get the silver medal. You actually had to lose the game to get the silver medal. So therefore, the silver medal acts as nothing more than a consolation prize. Do you know what I'm saying? Because if there was an actual game where you could actually win the silver medal, well, then it would feel like an accomplishment and you've actually got something. Now, that's not to say that, you know, 10 minutes later or six months down the road that, you know, these people aren't going to look at the silver medal and perhaps have a better appreciation for it. They more than likely will because the novelty has worn off. You know, they've accepted what's happened. They're back home. They're back to their day-to-day -day lives. You know, they're doing their thing. So yes, absolutely. That more than likely happens. But why does it have to be that way? Why do they have to feel like absolute shit and garbage when they've just been told they're the second best in the world? Here are some examples. Here is the United States hockey team who just won silver against the Canadians. Now remember, this team, these people have just quote unquote won the silver medal and have been told by default that they are the second best in the world. Does it look like they give a fucking shit? Does it look like they actually give a fucking shit? <laughs> look at these faces. Look at these faces. Now, look at the faces of some of the bronze medal winners. Now, bronze is lower than, than silver, okay? But look at how happy these bronze medal winners are. They are exuberantly happy and excited and glad and thankful to have won the bronze medal. Why? Because they actually did win the bronze medal. Because there was a game that decided who gets bronze by winning the game. Here are some more exceptionally happy silver medal winners. <laughs> Look at these people! They're miserable! Hey, and don't get me wrong, I get it. I understand it. And I've always found it funny because I've always thought, well, maybe there should be, maybe they should, you know, sort of reor, you know, reorganize the tournament a bit. Um, and, and, you know, maybe there should be a silver medal game. And I understand that that might extend some certain things and maybe it's not practical at this very moment in time. Uh, and maybe you'd have to rearrange, uh, of course you would. Um, things would have to adjust. But I guarantee you that if there was a silver medal game, where the winner of that game wins silver, it would feel more like an accomplishment. You'd feel like you, you've you accomplished something. Anyways, folks, my name's Dave McRae. Comment below and let me know what you think. Uh, do you think I'm crazy? Now look, I know that things would have to change and I know that things are not black and white. I know that, th that there's adjustments that would have to be made, but I just find it funny when they interview people, they're like, so you've just won silver here at the 2010 Olympics. How does it feel? <laughs> uh, sir, you have a silver medal around your neck. <laughs> but I wanted gold. <laughs> Uh, sir, uh, you've just been told you're the second best in the world at your sport. I mean, this team should be happy. We're not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below and let me know your thoughts. My name's Dave McRae. I'll be back soon. We'll be talking movies and horror soon. But you know what? When I think of something, I gotta talk about it. Cheers.